Hello everyone, this is Miguel, and in this video I'll be showing how to perform a 1 by 9 Microsoft Excel 2013. In this experiment, four prototypes of alloy for aircraft have been produced to determine the effects of a fixed high altitude on their density. The new hypothesis states the density for the four prototypes is statistically the same. However, the alternative hypothesis states at least one prototype has different density due to high altitude. So to find out which hypothesis is true, first we need to click the data tab and then data analysis. As I said before, if you do not see data analysis at the right of the toolbar, you need to install the data analysis tool pack. Here we choose another single factor, and the reason we are choosing another single factor is because we only have one variable we are looking at, which is the effect of a high altitude on density. Then let's click OK. For input range, let's select all the table. And check the box labels in first row to let Excel know we do have labels. My data is grouped by columns. If you decide to group by rows, you have to check the second box. For alpha level, let's choose 0 0.05, which is a pretty common value for this type of hypothesis testing. Finally, for output range, let's select an array near my data. And then click OK. So here we have the results for our Nova single factor. Excel gives us the sum of square deviations, degree of freedom, mean square, F value, P value, and F critical value. But what we are really interested in are these three last values. First, comparing the P value to the alpha level we chose, which was 0 0.05, we realize the P value is higher, and therefore we do not reject the new hypothesis. And the second reason why you should not reject the new hypothesis is because F value is smaller than F critical value. Thus, the equality of density for the four prototypes is not rejected. That's how to perform a one way and of Microsoft Excel 2013. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next section.